assalam to everyone hope you all are good now we are going to start our lesson uh, kindly open page number 8 of your notes page number 8 teacher yes page number 8 open page number 8 everyone Page number eight. Uh, on page number eight, uh, we had done question number one. So now we are going to do question number two. So what we are going to do in question number two? They are saying you have to do what? Round these to the nearest hundred. They are saying round these values to the nearest hundred. So how we are going to round these to the nearest hundred? The first one is 224. <clears throat> I'm going to give you example. You can see on your books, there is a yellow box on the top of the book. <clears throat> they are telling you how you are going to round to the nearest 10. <clears throat> Look at the tenth digit. So now we are going to uh, look at our tens digit. When we round to the nearest 10, we look at our ones. When we are going to round to nearest 10, 100, we look on tens digit. It, uh, if it is five or more, round up the nearest digit. You can see uh, uh, I have 4,261 rounds up to 4300 how it becomes 4300 because our ten, uh, tens value is bigger than 5 it goes to the on 200 it goes to 200 because after uh, because uh, this value 261 lies between 200 to 300 our 6 is greater than 5, so we move forward to 300. So the answer is 4300. And if it is less than 5, the tenth digits stay the same. If our tenth value is 5, uh, sorry, is less, then what we do? We stay on the same digit, okay? So here you have a, you know, I have an example that is 11,647, 647. Now we know this value lies between 600 and 700. So uh, I'm going to uh, look at my tens. That is four and it is less than five. So I stay on 600. I am not going to move forward on 700. Now I'm going to do question number two on the board. Look at the board, everyone. Question number two, A part, I'm going to do a part for you. That is 224. So we know this value lies between 200 and 3. 100. This value comes between 200 and 300. So this value can be here. 224. Now we have to do what? We have to round it to the nearest 100. When we round it to the nearest 100, we look at our, uh, our tens 
value and tens value i have two i have a digit two so i have tens two and it is less than five two is less than five so i move forward oh, sorry backward because this two is less than five so i move back so the answer of this one is 200 if we round it to the nearest hundred then the answer is 200 now i'm going to do the next part for you that is that is e part e in e part they give you the value 2151 so how we are going to round it to the nearest hundred first i'm going to draw a line in which two values it lies between We are going to look at last three digits because we want to convert it into hundreds, okay? You can see uh, 151. 151 lies between 100 and 200. because now you can see fifty one one hundred and fifty one comes here so how we are going to round a to the nearest hundred whenever we do rounding nearest hundred first we look at our tens uh, this one is our tens value that is five that is what five <clears throat> if we have a value five or less than five umaima wait if we have a value five or it is greater than five then we move forward what we do we move forward so the answer is first i'm going to write this to 2000 and i convert uh, i round it to the nearest hundred so it becomes what 200 the answer is 2,200. The next one is, I'm going to do for you, that is I part. In I part, you can see they write 12,337. So what will be the answer of this value? Uh, again, I'm going to tell you that we have to round it to the nearest 10. So I'm going to draw a line with the help of this line we round it to the nearest 100 so change will be come in hundreds value first two values are same the next one are 
337 we know 337 lies means comes between 300 and 400 and 337 comes here between 300 and 700 Fine. Now, how we are going to move? Uh, how we are going to round it to the nearest ten? We have to look at our tens value. Our tens value is three. So, three is less than five. Three is less than five. If yes, uh, it is less. We move. backward we move where backward so what i am going to write here i am going to write 300 by using this method you can uh, do all parts through it now i'm going to do last part for you that is l part on l part you can see it is 53600 and 52 again when we do rounding we get change in our hundreds value we get change in our hundreds value so 53000 as it is we are going to write it as it is and i'm going to draw this line we know that 652 comes between 600 and 700 now we know that this 652 comes between these two hundreds values so now how can i how can i convert it into i mean rounding it into nearest hundred i'm going to look at my tens value this one is tens value if this value is less than 5 we move backward if this where a tens value is 5 or more than 5 we move forward so we have 5 here it is equal to 5 so we move forward so what i am going to write here 53000 Seven hundred. The answer is fifty-three thousand and seven hundred. 